That's why I say it's a risk to stick Somerset in here. Oh, gone. Oh, it's a slow ball, full toss, and he's just hammered it straight back at Stewart, who has held on to it. His players, Grant Stewart, who just manages to uh, to rise to the occasion and it's a terrible delivery somehow he's managed to uh, correction tom benton to punch it back to him he's gone for four that's a big big wicket for the visitors 19 for one simple catch in the end not quite the elevation tom cola cadmore was hoping for and just picking up a couple of wickets now. Stewart then with his second. A really good ball in from Stewart. He tried this in his first over as well. He's trying to get under the bat of, of, of Cola Cadmore and the other openers as well. He's trying to ensure that the batters can't get elevation, that if they do try and clear the boundary, it'll be at a catchable height. That's a tactic that's come more and more into use. Tom Cole, Cadmore, bright start, but he's gone 31. And Somerset, a 72 for two. Edged, edged wide. Stewart's picked up his third. And just a little feather through to Sam Billings. They've decided to go wider. Dixon throwing his hands at it. The bounce just getting a little bit too much. Another wicket, a vital one to keep the total down to a manageable level. And Sean Dixon goes for 41. Simple as you like. Simple as you like, looking for the short boundary. And Ben Green has come and gone. And, uh, well, again, a game they just have to win. And they're fighting hard. Six down now, Somerset. Uh, this actually ties into your question as well. The earlier one was a wide full one, depending on the batter. Ben Green comes in. It's a short one. So if you're a batter, you want to be in an open position that allows you access through both the offside and the, and the onside. The only thing is, as a batter, you can hedge yourself by moving across the crease, move outside off stump and make that gap a little bit less. Ben Green goes for a dark Somerset, 171 for six. 